so hey guys what's up welcome back to my youtube channel so guys today in this video i will be telling you how you guys can root and unlock your bootloader in order to flash any gsi on your realme c25 by so if you have any realme device three uh, basically rmx 3261 so keep watching this video and i will explain everything so without wasting any more time let's get started so guys coming back to the pc you have to download some files over here you can see in my realme c25 the first file this is the firmware file right doesn't matter whatever version of your rom you are using you have to download this 8.33 version you can see this version only and inside this the most important thing which you will see is this this file let me show you this dot pack file right and in the images folder you can see this is what you will have so first of all you have to download this firmware uh, file and then the second tool which you need is this spd spd upgrade tool this is a exe file which will be used to tinker with your device or basically just flash the rom on your device so this is a must have device uh, this this is a must have tool on your pc so make sure you download this tool also right let me just minimize it and show you the third file which is this boot.img it is responsible for unlocking the bootloader as well as providing you root. So let me just open this XDA website. This The link of this XDA website will be given in description and over here, everything is explained writtenly. So if you can follow this, very good. So first of all, at the top, you can see these are the, some links to the drivers which you definitely need to install in order to communicate with your device successfully. So just simply click on these links and download it. So let me just show you how to download the Realme drivers at the first link. After clicking on the first link, you will see the search option. Just simply type your device name over here. Realme me c25y and then you will see your device name right just simply click on download whatever your device name is just simply type it and then click on download and that's it over in here you can see the realme drivers are installed basically download it now just simply just extract the zip file and run the exe file and install them on your pc do the same with this qualcomm mtk and this adb fastboot if your qualcomm mtk driver setup doesn't install or website is not working it's okay it's it is not that much important but make sure you download this adb fastboot drivers after that we have to download the uh, firmware of your device as i told in the starting of the video so let me just show you how you can download that too after going on this website you can see uh, the link will be given in the description you have to just simply search for your device realme c25 and over here you can see this is the 8.33 version just simply click on download you can see in the bottom there are many other versions like 8.34 8.26 8.31 you don't have to download any other you just need to download 8.33 it doesn't matter whatever rom you're using now let's come to the third uh, web third thing which is it boot.img the link will be over here and also in the description just simply click on this and simply click on download remember the boot image which you are downloading from here is just unlocking the bootloader for rooting it you have to patch it from the magisk and that's a completely optional thing and after that uh, you can you also need spd flash tool so you can download it from over here just simply click, go on the link click on download and just simply download it that's it it will be in zip file extract it and then you will be able to use this tool on your device and after that in the below you can see th there is a guidance of how to flash gsi which you can do in later on if you really want to but most important thing which you can see right over here how to connect your device from the PC while flashing. Turn off the phone, after that press and hold volume down button and at the same time connect the phone to the PC. This is a very important thing how you have to connect your device. So let me just open the file manager and let me open the SPD tool in order to flash my device from the basically flash the firmware on my device. And also how to replace boot basically how to unlock the bootloader as well as uh, yeah definitely rooted so over here you can see this is the firmware and this is the spd folder just let me go in the spd folder let me click on the update on download and over here you can see this is the load packet just simply click on this option right load packet after op up after that your file manager will open let me just simply go back on my this pc and over here now you have to go to the path of your firmware download so as you can see in ankit realme and this is the folder on where this file is just simply click on the software and as in the starting of the video i told this is the important thing this dot pack file just simply click on it it is the most important thing that what you have to load over there load packet and now in the bottom you can see log loading packet file and over here you can see it is loading it will sh keep showing that how much the file is loaded now you have to just simply wait until this load is complete right so over here you can see it will take a little bit time so just simply wait it and let this process to be done uh, i will suggest do not interfere with your pc because the C, uh, this exe is not that reliable so i get uh, if i just start, keep using my pc i sometimes i get this uh, exe not responding and then whole setup is crashed so i just need to relaunch the software and uh, basically load this file again 
and then start this process whole again so i will suggest just simply go away from your pc for the, for a while unless until this uh, packet file is loading right so let me just simply load it really quick by doing editing magic uh, editing magic and then come back so boom <laughs> Here you can see it is showing ready so which means our process is complete right so now what we have to do is we have to basically replace the boot.img in order to unlock the bootloader or root your device so what you have to do is you have to just in your spd folder you have to search for this image file open this this pack dot folder folder and inside this you will see this boot.img right uh, just copy this path basically remember this path in this you will see this boot.img which this boot.img which you have to replace uh, now let me just first show you uh, remember we just down downloaded the boot.img I told you in the starting of the video you have to download this boot.img to unlock your bootloader and also if you just uh, in the on this xda page only if you just simply click on the next page number two you will find my post Ankit Pandey 2 this is my name and uh, you will find this post in which I have mentioned this is the uh, boot.img which will unlock bootloader as well as root your device it is basically I have patched this boot.img with magic so if you really want to root your device as well as unlock bootloader just download that boot.img right link will be in description so just simply download and the boot.img which you find on this media fire it will only unlock the bootloader which means you can flash dsi but you will not get magic root right so now what you have to do over here you can see this is the boot img which is just which will be just unlocking the bootloader not giving me the root so now we have to just simply copy it and open our folder which is spd upgrade and then image files and this back folder over here we have to just replace it um, we have to just simply paste it and click on replace the file in this uh, destination or just simply de delete this boot.img and paste your that copied boot.img right also one thing i just uh, told forget to tell you and that is to basically rename your boot.img right so let me just simply uh, uh, go on the view section and enable file uh, show file name extension and now over here you can see boot.img full name right even in the inside this pack folder you can see boot.img make sure you rename your boot.img to exactly boot.img otherwise it will not work so after replacing the boot.img in the folder your work is done and now remember this step turn off your phone after that press and hold volume down button and at the same time connect the phone to the pc so yeah we have to follow this now right just simply turn off your device and after that what you have to do is you have to press the volume down button and connect the data cable at the same time in your phone as you can see in the cam and after that you will see in your spd folder spd exe file the flashing has been started and it will go on just simply keep your device at the one place it will keep on going on and it will successfully flash complete your device and also unlock the bootloader or provide you the root depending on which boot file you replaced in that spd folder right depending on the boot file which you replaced it will do that task it will uh, basically unlock the bootloader if you replace the original media fire boot.img or if you download the boot.img uh, provided in, on in xda post by me it will also unlock the bootloader as well as provide you the root access so now you can see the process is completed I definitely i fast forward this video and it take about 10 to 15 minutes after that your device is completely functional you can use it and uh, hope you like this video so till then stay home stay safe goodbye